two for the first ever Grand Prix event in gymnastics to be held in the United Kingdom. Prize money available, £35,000. An enthusiastic crowd, as usual, with plenty of youngsters. And an amazing lineup, really, which is something of a who's who of world gymnastics. Here's the world champion, Svetlana Korkina. Alexei Nemov, silver medalist from the last Olympic Games. Gina Gojan from Romania, silver medalist in the ladies' event in Atlanta. And here, Bondarenko of Russia, who won the silver medal in the recent World Championships in Lausanne. Really is a lineup which does great justice to the work of Alex Strachan, Vice President of British Gymnastics, to get so many big names here. First, we're going to see is a young member of the British team, Kanukai Jackson, as the men open their competition on the vault. And what a powerful young man Kanukai Jackson is. This is strongest event. And a deep landing, but handspring double front, so he's really pulled out the difficulty. Tremendous athlete, great power. Hard push into the double front, and did his seat clear? Well, it looked like a bounce to me. Really needs to force his heels hard over his head. Perhaps he tucked too soon. Lacked rotation. That was the result. Come on, give me some encouragement. 19 year old British junior champion. Comes from Harrow, coached by Carol Ford. And 9.4 is his opening score. Second vault, which must be different. For the full twist in the Sukahara. You get a good average there. Full twist, clean enough, but the landing staggered just a little. Start value, Mitch of 9.4, so it's going to be slightly down on the second one. Yes, it's the average of the two. You've got to be consistent here. Nine one the score for the second vault, but a good average to start the competition, nine point two five. And here is Yi Hong Chul, seven years older than Jackson, silver medalist on this piece of apparatus in the World Championships in Puerto Rico back in nineteen ninety six. And look for something very special, spectacularly difficult. Oh, Sukahara with a double tuck. Sukahara Extremely difficult. You don't see many of those. Tries to marry the necessary rotation with the elevation from the top of the horse. Touchdown, but I'm sure the judges will treat it quite generously. Tremendous difficulty. Round off onto the horse. Has to pitch the shoulders back for rotation. And just undercooked it slightly. Your public address announcer at odds with you there, Mitch. Seeming they would be very hard. 9.2, I think you've won that little debate. Career, of course, with uh, quite a pedigree on this piece of apparatus. Tremendous power, all the Korean vaulters in gymnastics history. And I'm sure he's got something special to show us for his second vault. One and a half twists and absolutely yeah. nailed the landing. Super effort. He'll be disappointed about the opening score now, though. Well, he's put that behind him. There's the handspring pike front somersault with one and a half turns. What a landing. Huge push. Kicks out into the one and a half turns. Beautiful work. 9.375. Nine point five five for the second vault, the average is nine point three seven five. Alexei Nemov. Now twenty one years old. He's been world champion on this piece of apparatus no fewer than three times. Yichenko start, that's his trademark, that vault. Put a half turn into the pike front somersault. 
round off half turn onto the horse just a little bit flat coming off and you could see that through the deep landing makes the half turn but look comes off quite low for him and struggles to make the turn Nine four five. The best score so far for an opening vault. Russian has put himself in the favourites position here. But he has to match that opening performance. Yachenko approach once again. This time with an extra twist in the somersault phase. Super vaulting. Should be good enough. Greater consistency than the Korean. Spins really hard to make one and a half turns. Yachenko. Half turn, one and a half twist. Lovely style. Uh, that could be interesting. Korean had a little touch of flamboyance. Nemov looking up at the scoreboard, smiles, but it's a smile of accepting the defeat by the Korean. How typical of Nemov, smiles all around the Korean victory. And talking of smiles, there should shortly be one on the face of Kanakai Jackson. He did really well for Britain, finishing in third place. Yeah, I'm really pleased with the, my performance. Um, got a top three invited. Um, it's hard to live up to. And then you've got the uh, next 16 also from qualifying. And only four of them make it through, so it's a really tough qualification process and finals obviously like cream of the crop um, I'm pleased that I beat um, Bondarenko and Krukov because I competed against them at junior European level um, and they beat me then so it's good to get back um, didn't beat them off this time round but maybe next year at Europeans would be nice well that's the right attitude finishing in third place behind Yo Hong Chul and Alexei Nemov On to the women's competition and the asymmetric bars. Can anybody beat uh, Svetlana Korkina on this piece of apparatus? Well, the first to try here is from Uzbekistan. Another Svetlana Bakridinova, 16 years old. Unusual mount, straight up to the handstand. Very good high flighted Kachev. The gymnast required to show lots of different skills. There's one original, one and a half turn. And very smooth movements between the bars. Like all good performers, gives herself time on the apparatus and time in the air. What a very good landing from a difficult dismount. Just little errors creeping in there. We can see on the slow motion replay. Knees bending a little bit. Those are deductions the judges will make. But they'll also give her lots of credit for this complicated work. Difficult turn immediately into the dismount, which is high above the bar. Seemed to slightly surprise herself with the landing, which came down a bit hard, but she's happy with the performance, and she should be with the score, 9.4. Familiar figure from Romania of Simona Amana. And this is the piece of apparatus that really let her down at the recent World Championships. I'm sure has been working hard to make sure that doesn't happen again, and already different work. Just a little unsteadiness there on top of the bar, but good, interesting releases. Smooth handstand, and linking difficult double straight dismount to the full pirouette. Lots more originality than we've seen from her for a while. 
Finished uh, second to Korkina in Lausanne, the overall competition. Just stalls slightly on top of the bar, manages to make the extra half turn that she wanted. Good high release above the bar. These are the things the judges give the extra marks for, the difficult moves together. There's the dismount. Little untidy legs, but a solid landing. And a notch up, 9.5. Next competitor representing Russia, competitor number 41. Now Svetlana Korkina. Whose success was uh, well received in the world of gymnastics. And credit to her and indeed the gentleman there standing to the right, her coach. And the acknowledged champion on this piece of apparatus, three times world champion and Olympic champion as well on the asymmetric bars. Beautiful long body line used to its fullest. Great rhythm on this piece of apparatus. Doesn't seem to need any strength. Everything swings. And that's what makes her work so unique. Accelerates fast into that wonderful dismount and that wonderful landing. And to look at uh, Boris Pilkin. Coach has seen it all before and he's seen it really come good. Swings with such wonderful technique. Let the apparatus help her. Accelerates up, knees locked together, adds the full twist, spots the landing perfectly. 9.825.325 up on the performance of Amanar. Well, they wouldn't have accepted bets on the odds-on favourite, but Korkina absolutely cantered home, didn't she? Men's pommel, and from Russia, Alexei Bondarenko. Great success in the junior ranks. Now silver medal to his credit at world championship senior level and this a very strong event for him keeps form on the difficult complex bendy swings one of the most difficult skills to keep momentum with legs locked together and the circle constant and secure again the bendy picking up into circles on one handle Super rhythm, slight break of form with the legs there, as so often happens in shears, and a break of rhythm on the flare at the end makes the pirouette. <laughs> Difficult work, but there were obvious faults. The big challenge, of course, on pommel horse is to keep the swing, keep the rhythm. And you see an example of absolute precision on hand changes the heels pressed hard behind him to keep momentum and then breaking into conventional circles here was a falter and that'll be a clear deduction for the judges to make rescued the pirouette and land safely nine point two five the score Reflecting the error. Now Alexei Nemov. Has made errors in the past. He's got a peculiar style in the circle. Not as extended as some. 
but he's strong and looking determined. Into the Zivado back travels, good hand placement. Breaking into flare. Spindling and keeping that all important rhythm. Into the shears. And pirouette safely down in terms of rhythm, in terms of security. That was a great routine. Our Lexi is an only child who was uh, taken to the gym at the age of six. They always look relieved when they complete this apparatus. So many gymnasts come to grief. Full extension in the flares, spindles with great confidence. And this where gymnasts break form in the flare section and the shear section, but held form, held concentration. Great effort from Nimov. 9.3, he's beaten his compatriot. As you implied, Mitch, this is a piece of apparatus which has undone many a would-be world champion in uh, overall competition, but of course this is apparatus finals, and here's something of a specialist, the former world champion, Ozika of Romania. Very light framed, swings crisply and with great difficulty. There's a sample of it there on the one handle, back onto the one handle. Not a lot of space, no room for error, and he's still on that one handle. This is very complex work. He's been there for at least a dozen swings. <laughs> Not a wasted circle. All immediate combination. And look at the verve in those flares. The all-important dismount. Negotiated beautifully. Rosika. Super pommel worker. Small errors on the shears as they all make. But while he was circling... Quite outstanding in difficulty and execution. Shoulders committed to the turn, legs extended, breaking here into the flares, which he does with quite exceptional vigour. And safely negotiated the dismount. Opportunity here for the uh, gymnasts to look at themselves again and to judge their own performance. Rhythm was his business there. And his reward is 9.8 and he's entitled to applaud himself. Men's pommel goes to the specialist. Mariusz Ozika of Romania leaves the Russians in his wake. Jackson in fourth place the women's floor competition and a lot expected here in a real test for britain's annika reader living in very good company and looking to be almost as tall as corkina are at opposite ends of the line this should be a quality event and it'll be interesting to see how her performance compares with that of the aggressive simona amana from romania Atlana Korkina, whose style doesn't always win the favour of the judges on the floor. Gina Gojan certainly does. She's the current world champion on this piece of apparatus. But maybe this is the day for Elena Produnova of Russia. And Karida, the first to go to set the standard for the others. Big opening tumble from Annika. Full twisting double back. Sets the mood of the performance and straight into another tumble. And difficult.
all important jumps. And her tumbling always crisp. Linking two forward tumbles together. Sometimes just a little bit suspect. So far, a clean performance. Oh, just spoken too soon. Went for broke with a very difficult last tumble. Not quite enough stamina at the end there. The national coach, Adrian Stan. Former Romanian coach greets Annika off the floor. This the first tumble, full twisting double back. Very easily accomplished. The handspring, fly spring, double twisting front somersault at the end. Just not enough rotation. And I'm afraid it's cost her everything. 8.875 only for Annika Rida. That's disappointing for her and indeed for the crowd. Elena Progenova. Shall we say something of an extrovert on the floor? And absolutely exudes power. Wonderful tumbler. Arabian double front, punch front. And the forward tumbling. Immensely impressive. It's all wasted. Gets on with it. Clean, efficient gymnastic skills. More power. Double front somersault. And look at that. weakest element in that incredibly difficult exercise but no nonsense approach cleanly efficiently performed and such power and there's the great man Akayev mastermind of the Russian success and before that of course the Soviet Union success for over a decade ah, she's gone round congratulating everybody Bronze medalist she was in the all-around and on this piece of apparatus in Lausanne. That combination incredible. Arabian double front, immediate punch front. Typical of a power. Look at the aggression in that approach. And another double front. Landed beautifully. Nine point seven five. Now that's at a test for the others. Well, I described uh, Simona Amanau as being aggressive in style. She had to go some to be as aggressive as the lady we've just seen, though. She will, and Amanau's great strength is her accuracy. Front somersault into triple twist to start.
quite a contrast in style, really, between these performers. Both great tumblers. And using the twisting tumbles a great deal, but I think she probably was out of the floor area there. Has recovered her composure well. We'll pause before this tumble. Double pike to finish. Good landing there. But although only a point one deduction for stepping out of the floor. Medals and championships are won by far less. I'm sure that will have been a costly error. Like a passing observation, Christine, that maybe Progenova isn't the one you want to follow because it's a bit of a, a letdown after her. Yes, and a lot of pressure as well. She landed those difficult tumbles so cleanly. Aminar not renowned for her great expressive dance work, and even that first tumble was just a tiny bit short of the clean triple. This the very complex tumble, whip back, immediate flip into two and a half somersault. You have to open out and punch the floor. She timed it slightly incorrectly and didn't quite control that landing. Only 9.2. Amina below par and a step too far. Gina Gojang. Current world champion, as I said, on this piece of apparatus. 9.75 the score to beat. straight, clean and efficient. Touch of going through the motions on this choreography, which doesn't sit well with many aficionados in the sport but really efficient work. Front somersault, all the way through to double pike. Clean. Mount. Full twisting double tuck back. Well, we've said it was efficient, but uh, it lacks that certain something. It doesn't lift, I'm sure, in the way that most of this audience would like to be lifted. Set that didn't sparkle. We've had a good variation of music in this competition. Hernandez Hardaway, variations on Beethoven's fifth, and now we're with Zorba, the Greek. Super start, double straight. Tumbling was fine when you see it isolated from the presentation of the exercise. So little given away in her performance. Look at the way she finished. A full twisting double back. Almost looks better in slow motion, and the judges have given that as 9.775. Progenova again will have to accept second at best. Here is the new name in the Romanian team, Maria Olaru. She's too young to compete in the World Championships in Lausanne. But opens impressively, double twisting front, 
into a pike somersault. Very good head and shoulder line. And expressive use of her arms. Two and a half twist into punch front, well controlled. Good, clean execution of spins and jumps. Rather a long wait, but is it a big tumble to finish with? Triple twist, just the tiniest of hops. Well, I'm sure we'll see a lot more of her in the future. But the Romanians continue to clone, do they not? They all look the same. I think this is not by accident, this is by style. They very much wish to come and win as many medals as possible. And they have developed a style that's likely to do that. And we have to confess, we will have worked again today. Good tumbling, minimum of errors. 9.7. She's in third place. But when you look at the Russians, you have a huge contrast between the style of Elena Prodjunova and here are Svetlana Korkina. I have to say that aesthetically, it's much more pleasing. She can sell a floor exercise like no one else on the world scene. confident in the triple twist. And the art, because art it is, is to find that blend between acrobatics and choreography. And she does that so beautifully. Something special. Two and a half twists, a little bit offline in the punch front. Beautifully packaged, but there were errors in the opening tumble and the closing tumble. Two and a half twists. You could see she was off centre and quite loose leg form there. Pulls very hard through the whip back somersault. Well, what have the judges made of that? Same score as Olaru, and Gina Goja has won the day again. Prodjanova takes the silver medal, and Korkina, the bronze, 
on the basis of her world ranking ahead of the 15-year-old Romanian. And Gina Goja once more is the winner on floor. And we'll have more. Uh, some build-up from the public address announcer for the first competitor in the floor competition, Alexei Bondarenko. Russia, this could well be a Russian uh, competition, he and his compatriot, Alexei Nemov. Double twisting, double tuck. Very difficult start. One and a half twists completes the second line, building up the difficulty. And its favourite move, that. Lives on the pommel horse with that move, the bendy swing. Lovely clean top planche. walks through his tumbling. Great power, great control. And a full twisty double tuck, and as I speak, three paces, he was out of the area. Uh, with this sort of quality of competition, that means he won't win it. There's wonderful power in his tumbling. Whip over somersault, one and a half twists, one and a half twists. Didn't quite make it round there, but disguised it well. Started with a double twisting, double tuck, finished with a full twisting, double tuck, and the paces will bring him down. 9.05 only. Alexei Nemov. It's really the style and all his piece of apparatus, but particularly this, perhaps. Full twisting double straight. Yes, it's such a beautiful worker, is Nemov. Three straight somersaults, building to one and a half twists in the final one. Flaring, spindling. In and out of handstand. Comes to rest in splits. Nicely constructed floor exercise, this one. Double twist, punch front. And a slight break at the hips there in the top planche, which the judges, I'm sure, will pick up on. Double pike, again, a couple of faces back, but well in the area. Good, safe routine from them off. It touches of brilliance. Undercut from the pirouette in flair. Building the difficulty through combination. Double twists, I mean, normally takes that all the way down to support, but the landing won't cost him too much. 9.2. And surprisingly, 9.2 good enough to take the gold medal in the men's floor competition. First competitor in the women's vault is Maria Olaru of Romania. And an enormously difficult vault, excellently performed and landed. Double twist in the straight position. Accurate placement of the hands on the horse, plenty of height and flight. Time to open out and control the speed. 
Very good opening score. Then uh, two volts required. Have to be different. So 9.625. Be surprising if she can find a score to match that, but uh, it's a question of how many notches down from it. Yes, has to be a different approach to the vault this time. And not nearly so difficult and not nearly so well executed either. A half turn onto the horse and a half turn off with a somersault. I think in the tuck position, yes. Although not a very big tuck. There's the half turn. Didn't really block the shoulders off the top. Oh, many more experienced gymnasts don't have a good second vault. She didn't have one there, 9.025 only for the second pools, the average to 9.325. Here's another new face, Anna Kovaleva of Russia. Tiny little girl, but with very good technique. Handspring, good drive off the top of the horse. Front somersault with a half turn. Lays out. The stretch position before she lands, lots of power into the horse, a little bit untidy, but there you see a good stretch of the hips before the landing. He's seen them all come and he's seen a few go. How does he rate this one? Will he be pleased with that opening score? Arkayev, 9.575. Little puff of the cheeks and here we go for vault number two. This, oh, unfortunate landing, the half turn on, the half turn off and the straight somersault. Little bit untidy and under rotated. There's the half turn, the straight somersault. Didn't quite get enough rotation off the horse. Felt she was short, had to bend her legs a little bit, but still couldn't quite save it. Nine point three eight seven. Nine point two out of a tariff fault of nine eight. Nine point three eight seven is her score. Been around a long time now, Gina Gojan. Won just about everything except the one she wanted most, the Olympics. Such control and precision, the one and a half twist in the straight somersault, often very difficult to land because you don't see the floor before you contact it. Here we go, big push, one and a half twist, and you can see the feet land. It's a blind landing, but she's done that so many times. She knows exactly where she is. Textbook precision. 9.65. First fault for Gina Gauguin. Didn't make it to overall world champion either. To her clear disappointment. Was talked that she was going to retire, but here she is again. And no doubt her extra experience will show here. And it does. Clean second vault, not quite so difficult. But again, that same precision. The precision that perhaps makes her a little dull on other pieces comes into play very nicely here. The push off the top, the straight shape, the efficient turn, and bend your legs to land. Nine five two five nine point five eight seven, and efficiency wins the day again for Gina Gauguin, her second gold medal in this Grand Prix event at the Kelvin Hall in Glasgow. Parallel bars in front of the judges. And the first competitor they have to uh, judge is Alias Pegan of Slovenia. As many do, starts on the outer bar and curls his toes just to make sure the lift. 
lovely clean shape into the double front and tidies that combination up with this lift tiny little hand grasp and an adjustment to the outer bar oh and he really did cut his toes that time very expensive that's difficult flying back to one bar Double pike. Well, there was original work there, but uh, there were some clear errors in terms of style. So difficult to get this match between difficulty and clean performance. The double front, well done. Into the half lever. Flying back roll to handstand. Quick adjustment of the hands, make sure it's at the double pike, but a uh, couple of execution errors there. Adios. 9-3 is the score. Here's the uh, winner of the pommel horse competition, Mariusz Rzika of Romania. Again, it's this light build of his on the support pieces. This is support apparatus and so is the pommel, so you can look for some good work here. Good technique. Superb, full twisting front somersault to upper arms. Unusual. Oh, beautiful. Complex joining from the one bar. And the continuous swing. Double pike high and clean. It was exciting and original. All the combinations, very intricate. Well, he's having a very good competition over these two days. In an event which incidentally has been uh, partially supported by uh, the Scottish Sports Council with fun from the lottery. Healy turn into full twist front and almost ran out of room between those bars very hastily pulled it together i wonder if he'd rehearse that quick thinking i think double pike high and clean nine two five so no goal on the on the bars this is nikolai krukov 18-year-old from the uh, Dynamo Moscow Club. Support over the biceps. An indication of some of the landings to follow. Back up rise. Nice little hop to handstand. Landing number one. And two, that's where those bands come in really useful. Lovely control in handstand, Krukov. And the double pike wraps up a very nice exercise for him. Clean shape in the handstand. Double tuck somersault. Plenty of time to organize the uprise that follows it. And brings it under control with his pirouette. And there, the efficient dismount. He seems happy. Get him away before the score. Nine point three, which is the same score as Pegan. In the end, a case of who dares wins because Pegan had the higher tariff on his uh, routine, so he takes the title. Svetlana Korkina, one gold medal so far in this Grand Prix competition. Gina Gojan. 
has two. Simona Amana still waiting. As once again, we have a contest between Russia and Romania in women's gymnastics. Now on the beam, and Anna Kovaleva manages to stay on it at the start of her routine. And a very unusual series there. Handspring straight into a front somersault. And to prove she's just as confident backwards as forwards, a very good back tumbling series as well. Very difficult linkage of jumps. If the judges credit them, and it's always a question of whether they consider the gymnast to have shown enough splits, enough height. But if they credit them, there's plenty of marks to be gained. All the gymnasts having to go for difficult work on this piece of apparatus. Double tuck dismount. Well, she's certainly shown plenty of variety, plenty of difficulty, and really not too many errors either. Always difficult, the first performer up on the beam. This is the difficult jump combination. Good split on that, and good turning jump into back circle the question is did she pause between the jumps and I think she probably did if they pause they don't get the bonus marks for joining things she didn't pause here round off straight into a good high double tuck very promising gymnast for the future I think a 9.575 ain't too bad for the present our next competitor on beam is number 41 for Russia, Svetlana Kokina. And the uh, youth in the Russian team gives way to experience Svetlana Kokina. Full turn in the backflip as a start. And again. Finds a very special pace on this apparatus. Tiny little wobble there. Always the impression of total control, great poise and elegance. Really having to adjust there, full twist, the Rofova flick. Like we've said earlier, all these jumps and leaps have to be joined immediately. The judges eagle eyed on that aspect. Beautiful Lama, this man. Floats into the double twist. Lovely work, great composure. Presentation always superb and so careful in her selection of difficulty. She twists rather than somersaults. It suits her style and the effect is one of total control. There's the full twist there. That's a refolver flick. And she selects this unusual dismount, swings the leg through to make a double twist. It was difficult. It was original. It was Coquina. Certainly her own gymnast, with huge help from uh, Boris Pilkin, 9.775. That's a good challenge to make it two goals apiece. But before Gina Goja, here we have Simona Amina. And very confidently joins the front somersault and the jump afterwards.
Good series. Precise and confident with these landings. And very well joined the jump and the backflip. Always just get the impression that she's concentrating hard, a little anxious, but lots of dynamic power into the dismount and the concentration certainly paid off this time. Minimum errors. Not quite the same sort of flair that we see from Corkina, not the unusual work, but good high layout somersaults there, tiny error with the back leg, Slightly bent. And the judges can deduct a little bit for pauses if they feel that it was a little bit static, the routine. Precision work with the feet on landing. This, the big powerful dismount, very high. Contrast in styles. And quite a difference in the mark. 9.4. And uh, one Romanian replaces another. Here is Gina Gojan. Front somersault, just a little dip of the shoulder there. But safely into the routine. Nice combination, difficult series. And the front somersault, something of a trademark, Regina goes out. adjustment there to make sure she was in the right position on the beam for the gymnastic series. Great control. Build up, two backflips, double tuck somersault, a little pace back at the end. That same, almost clinical precision, but very effective on beam. Good square shoulders in and out. No margin for error. And powerful into the double tuck somersault, just the one pace. Nice to see her smile. It was nice to see her uh, help her younger compatriot too to have uh, mats where she wanted and uh, take off five. where she wanted. 9.75. Romania, 
Here is the third competitor from Romania. Claudia Pressacan, 17 years old. She was with the team in, uh, in Lausanne. Finished eighth overall. And a variety of mount, the straight back somersault. And another straight somersault, very good series there. Little adjustment on landing that jump, difficult jump. Very poised and another very difficult jump takes her head right back off the beam. Quite unusual choreography here. Moving away a little bit from the usual Romanian style and moves. But she's performing well. The whistle says she must dismount in just 10 seconds, which she does. Good round off and double back. And a good variety of skills all round. Well, she made a couple of the apparatus finals in Lausanne. But Bean wasn't one of them, but this was a very impressive performance. Yes, the two backflips and the straight somersault. What's so impressive is she was land standing upright as she landed. See the amount of time she was off the beam. That's how high she was. Double back knees locked together, doesn't give any marks away to the judges there or on the landing. Well, I think that might be the greatest challenge to Corkina. Wait until the competition's over to bring the smiles. Now, what's she going to get? 9.75 for Claudia Pressacan. The second best Romanian score for the youngest member of their team. But the Romanian challenge unable to unseat Svetlana Korkina, who takes the beam title with 9.775. And overall, two gold medals apiece for Korkina and Gojan. Neil Thomas from